hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you a react component library with the help of which you can just make these awesome little instagram stories here you have seen instagram stories you have made numerous number of stories so i will be showing you how to implement this inside your react.js application so this is a component library with the help of which you can just share images and inside the stories you can also embed videos as well i will be showing you step by step how to do this process we will be using a simple library called as react-insta stories this is an awesome little library which helps you to design these awesome stories so if you want to follow along with the video you can go to the video description link i have given the link in the video description link of my blog post where step by step instruction i have given you with all the source code so just go to the video description link to go to my blog post and download all the source code now to get started i will be showing you the library that i am using here so go to npmjs.com and type here react insta dash stories so just write this and the very first library which comes in this is the react component library that we are using here for making instagram stories here so it's a very famous library 3678 weekly downloads are there so it it really has a very good documentation various examples are also there so first of all you need to make a react.js project this is very simple you need to type this command npx create react app followed by your app name you can give any name of your choice i have already done that now you need to install this library which is npmi in react dash insta stories so just enter it and it will install this library i have already installed it so i will not install it once again so after installing it let me delete all this code here and show to you from scratch how to build a basic story from scratch instagram story using this library so basically if you have made your uh, brand new react chase project this will be the file structure here inside your source directory go to your source directory and go to app.js you will have this file here if you have some boilerplate boilerplate code just delete all that code and uh, just uh, stick to this option that i am showing you on the screen which have this app component here so we can start our application which is uh, npm start sorry npm start so this will run this at port number 3000 it will start this application it will auto restart here you will see localhost 3000 nothing is there you can see here now we need to import the library first of all at the very first line here so import stories from react insta stories so we are importing this stories method here now we need to declare a simple story here so inside the div element we will have the stories tag here and close it and this has some options here we need to provide a story here which is a stories option so this takes the actual story we need to create this story this is the array of images or videos and uh, at the very top here we need to create this so const story and this is the array array of objects you can even provide uh, inside this uh, uh, string here you can see already we have made our story here you will see this is an empty story nothing is there we need to embed images inside this so you can go to the internet just copy image address and uh, paste the url of the image that's it so now you will see if i reload it this is a story here let me just refresh it this is a single image so only one image is there so this is a single image story here so we can repeat this process once again just put a comma and uh, you can provide the same image once again so now you will see there is a line here which is uh, drawn here so first image followed by the second image both the images are same here so we need to choose the image the second image uh, different so i will choose this image here you can choose any image of your choice so you can provide this here like this so there are two images there so now you will see the story will be different here you will see this is the first image this is the second image 
and many a times you need to repeat this process again and again to make a loop looping story so now to repeat this process it is very much easy there is an option available inside this library which comes as loop you can assign this to true so true option there that's it so loop is equal to true here so inside curly brackets just provided true here so now you will see it will repeat it you need not have to refresh your page so it will automatically repeat it as you get here like this and there are some more options that you can play with this uh, library which is comes out to be width here you can provide the fixed width let's suppose 1200 and also we have the height of the story which comes out to be you can provide any height let's suppose I 720 so these are all numeric numbers here you need not have to put double quotes here so now you will see now the width of the story will be large here 1200 and the height is 720 so you can play with the size of the story whatever size that you want you can put the size here and you can read the documentation it is a really good documentation and various examples are also there and you can go to the video description link as well of my blog post as well so you can see and uh, the nice thing about that if here you can provide your objects as well because for each story this is area of objects so now you can provide the URL property here so URL property you can paste your link here again this image link here and here you can provide the duration property so how many seconds that you want this image to be there on the story so I will provide here uh, 2000 so this 2000 is in milliseconds so this translate to 2 seconds and uh, there is an option inside the stories here which is uh, default interval so default interval is the maximum length of the story so I will provide here 8 seconds so this will be 8000 milliseconds so the first image will take 2 seconds and the second image will take 6 seconds so we will have this URL once again property here so we will take the second image copy its image address and uh, for the duration property we can provide here 6000 which will translate to 6 seconds so you will see 6 seconds here so you can include as many images as you want and depending upon that you can divide the time for each image by this duration property and now you will check here it will exactly take the amount of seconds that you have specified here so the first image will not be shown for longer period and the second image will be shown for longer period that is exactly six seconds you can just count here so exactly the total story story time is eight seconds the first image takes two seconds and the second image takes six seconds so this is a really good way by which you can declare stories here in with the help of this library there are some more options that you can play with some more properties are there which is like this keyword navigation you can put this property to true with the help of this property you can control it by the keyword here you can see as I am pressing the keyboard keys here you can navigate the stories images by the numeric keys here by left key will go to the first image and the right key will go to the second image so you can see you can play with your keyboard keys as well if you want to navigate the stories so this is a nice option which is keyboard navigation so both these loop loop option and keyboard navigation the default value is false you you need to manually type these properties here loop to true and keyboard navigation to true as well and uh, going back to the documentation you will see some more options is, will be there as well uh, if I want to let's suppose if you want to change the background color it is very much easy what you want to do is that let's suppose I have the third story here and there is a content property here you can put the story third property here and you can make your own story 3 which will be story 3 story 3 and this will be a custom story that you will write here by yourself so I will 
just use this uh, I will just copy this and uh, paste it here so I think this is if you want to make a custom story so here only you can do this it is very easy so simply you need to paste it you need not have to write this so inside this only in the content property you can paste it like this so now you will see we are providing a background color of pink color you are providing a padding of 20 and then we are providing two headings here emojis are also there you can also embed uh, emojis as well inside your stories and a custom title so now if you look the story here it contains three you can see this is a custom title can go here you can see this is the emoji here you can see custom title you can navigate by your keyboard keys as well so this is a nice thing as well so you can change to any color of your choice you can change this to black so whatever modification that you want you can do it like this you can change this to white as well you can see and also you can change the padding margin top property as well so whatever value that you want it will stick so i think this is all this library is to offer guys you can read more about in the documentation or you can go to the video description link to read more about this library and download all the source code i have shown you the basic way by which you can implement instagram story inside your react chairs application this is a simple library i think that you will like this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also comment on this video and i will be seeing you in the next video